Welcome everyone to today's Empyrean Workshop Showcase. Join me as we take a look at Creator Requested, Skill Galactic Industries, Intrepid Capital Vessel. Today's design, the Skill Galactic Industries Intrepid is an unlock level 20 size class 6 capital vessel coming to us from creator MCDXCOM. This is a request by the creator for me to take a look at it and it definitely is an interesting looking ship. Appearance wise you can tell it definitely has more of a focus on a longer but skinnier type build than some other capital vessel designs. Starting at the front there is only one way to get inside the ship from ground level and that is to use the ramp here that leads up into the hover vessel bay. As you can see this is a skinnier bay so you're not going to get very wide hover vessels in here which does limit you a bit in what you can use in this space. Right here towards the front we do have one door that leads into our main elevator that leads you up into the other parts of the ship. Here we have our small vessel docking area where you see we have two smaller pads, four small SBs, as well as a nice little entrance here with a couple of guards watching the outside area when you come in. At the top of this elevator, we come into the main little room where you see we have a nice sentry gun at the very top of the elevator itself pointed down to make it harder for you to actually target it if somebody wants to get in your ship in a PVP setting. We also have our O2 station, our warp drive fuel tank, clone chamber. We have a harvest cargo box there, a harvest cargo box here, ammo box, some fuel storage, and an advanced constructor. Do note that if you stand too close right here, you will get a temperature spike and radiation spike in that little area. Right next to the elevator, you see we have a lever, which is for turning on and off the power save mode. With it on green, it shows like power save mode is on. However, if you look at your power, it has 120 hours now with it flipped into the on position. But when I turn it off, I now have 570 hours of power left. So it seems like it's a little bit backwards on that. It is important though, you do have this active because this will turn on the LCD screens around the ship. Going through this door, we come into the main command bridge area with a lot of our crew in here doing their jobs, you know, trying to look important. And coming here, we have our co-pilot who decided he gets the seat on the right and your pilot seat here on the left, along with a lovely assistant. Here we have a lever which will turn on the combat thrusters for the ship, improving your maneuverability. And here we have a lever that will open up the ramps and turn on the exterior lighting. Now heading through this doorway, we come to the rest of the ship and here you have two ways down. You have a set of stairs that spiral down and then you have this elevator that is a little tricky to get into without jumping and even then it can be hit or miss. But you can come down here to the base and you see we have two fridges and a food processor as well as some people already sitting down enjoying a meal. On this other side, you see we have some cargo boxes and advanced constructors sitting on top of them giving you a total of five advanced constructors in this ship. Taking these stairs down here, we come into a nicely lit green area, which is the medical area. Surprisingly green instead of red, especially since red and white is the theme for the medic station. And you see we also have our medical scanners throughout this area. Going through the door here, we come into the next section of the ship where you see we have 27 grow plots all nice in a row and we do have a switch over here that will turn on and off your grow lots coming up the little ramp there and walking along this way we come to a nice little spiral staircase that leads up into an engineering area where you see we have our core up there our warp drive which be careful it will be hot and highly radioactive in this area some rcs a gravity generator, a regular generator, and some nice lovely technician over here making sure everything works right. Through this next door, we come into the crew quarters where you see we have quite a few bunk beds in here. We also have two toilets and over here two showers. Then heading on up this way, we come into a little closet area, locker area. And here we have a technician, somebody sitting here at his desk 
Next to his bed in his little private room, next to the closets, we have another set of steps that lead up. And we have a little common area here with somebody playing with his tablet. We've got a nice TV. And we have another private room here, as well as a smaller private room with just the bed. Then through here, we have a little tech area, a nice little caution area, which coincidentally doesn't seem to have anything really to worry about in here. Just seems to be more for the looks. On this side, we have a nice little long hallway that leads us up here to a secondary captain seat, which you can use for piloting in a nice secure area or if you are under attack. And at the end of the hallway, we have the captain's quarters where he, of course, has his own private toilet, his own private shower, some information on the ship, and, of course, a bed, nice little lounge, couch area, just everything to make him feel like he is special. Back here by the caution area, we have another door over here that leads us back and around to an open room, which kind of feels like it could be a medical area, but you do have basically room to place whatever you want here. And then continuing down this way, we come to our ammo boxes and some cargo boxes, as well as a very large area that to me feels like it could be maybe a firing range type idea or weapons testing area in here. And that's why you have this little glass enclosure back this way. Once again, this is the Skill Galactic Industries Intrepid Capital Vessel, clocking in at an unlock level 20 size class 6. It carries 76 fuel tanks, giving you a total of 452,700 fuel. Currently in power save mode, you see I have over 566 hours of use. It carries 48 oxygen tanks, giving you a total capacity of 96,002 and only requires 3,612 to fill it up. There are seven ventilators spread throughout the ship, along with just one oxygen station, one medic station, and one clone chamber. For defense, the ship has the one sentry gun at the top of the elevator, as well as four rocket turrets on the exterior, and there is a drill turret right in front of the main bridge area. It has 16 cargo boxes and 8 ammo boxes, with 2 fridges, 1 food processor, and 5 advanced constructors. When it comes to construction costs, the main thing you will be worried about is of course the sathium and iron. It also requires a fair amount of neodymium and cobalt, however the silicon and copper won't be as bad. It may also take you a little while before you actually have enough arrestrum and zascosium to build this as well. So while I like the idea of the ship's design being longer but skinnier, it does cause some problems. As I noted earlier, the problem is you are limited, of course, in what size hover vessels and small vessels you can use with this ship. It also creates an issue with getting around the ship easily enough. The main areas of the ship are connected by the elevator at the front, but if you want to go into the back areas, such as where your ammo boxes are, you have a long walk back to get to the main section. Once again, the Intrepid comes to us from MCD XCOM, and this was a request by him to look at it. If you are interested in trying out this design in your own game, I will have a link in the description below. And if you try it out and like it, make sure to give him a thumbs up and a nice comment on the workshop page. Well, that is it for today's workshop showcase. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. I am your host, Mr. Spicy. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.